Hello everyone, it's King Sop and welcome back to another reaction video. Today we're reacting to the GSG9. This is an anti-terrorism policing unit within Germany. Uh, this was recommended through Instagram, so all my socials are down below. You can send me links there whenever you want and I'll react to them, add them to my list. Get them all loaded for you guys. For those who don't know me, my name is Sloth. I was in the British Army for just under seven years before transferring across to the Royal Air Force, where I'm still currently serving now. We're aiming for 10 likes in this video. Comment down below what force, what service, what you want, whatever you want me to react to next. Get it in the comments or once again send me a message on my socials. We're aiming for 4k at the end of the year. So let's get it done. But more importantly, you want to see the reaction, don't you? Let's get into it. Keep the face covered even for the video. That's, that's, I feel like that's when you know how just how dangerous a job is for people when you know even on a video where they know they're not threatened currently they're still covered because they know if their face gets shown they're a target for people as Apparently this unit is also one of the best in the world for anti-terrorism. They've dealt with a lot of plane hijackings, terrorists, uh, sorry, terrorism threats at Olympics. They've covered it all. Covering all angles, every window. Okay. Bass raping into the destination. Top of the roof, very nice. Ballistic shields, ready to go. So he'll go in for the person with the shield will go in first, holding it in front of him. So will be over the top, each shoulder, barring as they need to go. Two people coming behind them and ping out lot cover as many arcs as possible at once without getting blasted straight away. Check your kit, got a shotgun on your back, just in case. I believe that's a flash grenade. Prepared for CBRN, I guess you need to, being a terrorism unit anyway. They look very, very well switched on. Like a lot of times you watch a video and you see people just like run in, smash our door, pop a couple of rounds and everyone's like, whoa, that's great. I find this great because I'm watching how they do it and literally they are covering, checking every angle where there's a potential there might be someone there. They're scanning the room for in case there's any IEDs, any explosives that potentially could go off. They're looking at, they're scanning the entire room as soon as they go in. Make sure there's no uh, immediate threats from personnel or terrorists and then doing another scan for explosives. It is really quick, really smart, really effective. Got a resis on, type respirator on. Throw torch. Yeah, you'd panic. I'm sorry. If a team like that bust into my hotel room, flashing lights, Submachine guns pointed at you. You're panicking. You, you're gonna not even. You're gonna stand up because you're not gonna die. You're gonna be a, a martyr, whatever you want to call yourself. And you're gonna die anyway, or you're gonna bottle it and lie down because you know you're fucked. If you try to do anything, you're gonna get shot. Very well switched on. Look really, really, really well equipped. Even the people pretending, like the actors for the time being, like they're not actually in their military uniform, still covered up. Look. Breach and clear. And you'll have your DS staff there, literally being like watching everything you do. And if you fuck up, they'll chew your ass out. Fuck. Used to hate the racy stuff. There you go. 
Oh. Press, press reply. Bit of war. I need to find more videos on this because that was only a short video, but it did show just how fast they actually are, how effective they actually are. It looked crazy. You saw them go in, check everything around them, deal with the situation at hand in a quick and effective way. I'm guessing this is what people, people meant by saying these are some of the best people, some of the best uh, anti-terrorism unit you can find in the world. Because they've done the training and they've got the experience to back it up. Uh, just by looking, if so, I've just minimised this and I can quickly tell you, it was made in 1972 after a terrorist attack that occurred during the 1972 Olympic Games. It is most well known for its operations and was a rescue of a plane hijacked in Somalia in 1977. So it is quite a while ago, but that's what they're most well known for. So the deal with a plane jacket in itself is scary because you know the amount of souls on board. And from just looking at that, it says mi minimal amount of people are injured. So they know, they've practiced it, they'll have probably have a fake plane somewhere to train them as well. And they know exactly what everyone's role is going to be, and they're well aware. They're well aware of what they need to do, what their job is, and they like to be fast and effective. That's what I like to see. But anyway, that's been King Sloth once again. I have 10 lots on this video. Comment down below what force or service you want me to react to next, and subscribe. And for 4K by the end of the year, get the notifications on. There's a lot more videos coming. Cheers.